In today's video, we will be adding a building UI to our tower defense game, so let's just get right into it. All right, so the first thing that, that we want to do to get started is go down to your hierarchy, right click, and you want to go to UI, and you want to add in a, uh, where is it, panel. With that panel added, go to your scene view, and you'll see a massive object appear. This is our canvas. And as you can see right now, the panel is taking up the entire screen. We do not want that. Uh, we're gonna have the building UI in the bottom left-hand corner, by the way. So what you can do is you can go to the top left and click this uh, box button, and you can just easily scale down this panel to whatever size you want. I think I'm gonna go with maybe about there for it. Nice and, nice and small in the corner. Now the next thing we need to do is we need to, we can change the color because right now it looks kind of kind of bland and not looking that great. So we can go into the property or the inspector panel over here and you'll see this color field under the image. You can click on this color thing and you'll see this uh, color wheel appear. Now you have the uh, hue, saturation and value because this is uh, set to HSV. You have RGB mode and RGB zero to one, but we're gonna be using HSV. Now you'll see this alpha field you want to make sure to put that all the way up. That makes this uh, completely opaque and not see-through. And then we can just change the color to however we want it. I want to make a little bit of a darker panel, so I'm going to put it to a nice gray. I want to copy the HSV. This is what the HSV settings are. I'm just going to close that. that this is our new panel. Uh, we're going to, I'm going to name it um, probably Building UI Background. All right, so now that we have that, we want to uh, make the buttons that will um, appear here. So we can right click on this uh, building UI background object, click uh, UI, and then we can just insert a image. And we will name this um, building button. And we will, I'm just gonna make this, th this is gonna be the um, background to the actual uh, like card, I guess we could call it, the card that will appear. I'm just gonna center it within the UI. And then I'm going to make the background a little less intense. So I'm gonna make it grayed out a little bit. And I'm then going to add a, uh, Im a image right here. And that is going to be the tower icon tower icon. Now I'm gonna center this a little bit better. So I'm just gonna scale it all, all the way up right here. Make sure that the height and width are the same. We can drag that down. And I want a 20 pixel border on, on in total. So minus 20, minus 20. That seems a little bit big, so I'm just gonna subtract another 20 from that. And that is looking pretty, pretty good. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to make UI text, and I'm just going to put this as um, basic or name label. I am then going to copy and paste this, and I'm going to put this as the cost label and I'm gonna make the name label name label if I can speak I'm gonna center align it and I'm going to keep it at the left but I am going to change the color so that it is visible I'm gonna do the same thing to the cost text I'm gonna change its color to here and then last but not least under the cost label you're gonna to want to add a button and this button will be what activates the um, building process so I'm just gonna Make a button and I'm gonna name it uh, build button and I'm going to just change the color to a green a nice light green so it doesn't absolutely shatter eyes and I'm just gonna make this the basic tower one I'm gonna name, name, make the name we will say basic tower and then the cost we want to go into prefabs and check the cost that we put it at which my bad is in the shop manager so we have set the cost to be 500 
So under the build button, you will see a text. And in that, I'm just, wait, sorry, wrong one. Under the building UI or the building button, you'll see a cost label that we made. And I'm just gonna put cost, boom. And then I'm gonna make it have the dollar sign in front of it. So now we have a um, little thing here, a little card that says the tower, the cost, and a submit button, which I'm just going to change the text to build. So next thing we wanna do is actually program um, this to work. So the next thing that we wanna do is we wanna to go to our placement manager script. All right, so the next thing you want to do inside your script is add a game object tower to build argument to the start building function. And then what you wanna do is scroll up to the top of your script and you want to add a private variable called private game object current or uh, current tower placement placing so what this will be equal to is the current tower that we are that we are going to decide to place so let's just go down to our start building function and we will say that our start um, our current tower placing equals tower to build and then what we can do is instead of instantiating the basic tower object we will just copy and paste the current tower placing not copy the line this function can stay the same. We can scroll up to the place building and instead of saying basic tower object, we will say our current tower placing. Like so. So now that that will work, we can, whoopsies, did not mean to do that. You'll see that we have an error here. That's because normally uh, we would start building the basic tower right when we started the game but we can just get rid of this because we do not need it anymore. And I think that is all for this script that has to change. I do believe so. So the next thing that we have to do is just go into our uh, button over here. Just go into our button. You will see that there is a, um, em an empty field called on click. You wanna press this plus button. Then you wanna drag in our placement manager. You want to click on this drop down, go to placement manager, and click where to start building somewhere in here, right there. Start building, and then inside this none game object field, you want to go into your project panel, click and drag your basic tower object, and drop it in there. Now, what is this doing exactly? Well, a button has an event called on click, and when this event is called this function's um, or this script's function called start building will be fired with an argument of basic tower. So when this when this button is clicked, this function down here will run. And that is just uh, Unity events in buttons. You can also um, like change this to be the game object. You can do a specific thing like set the name to something or all other kinds of stuff. So if we test this out, we can go into play mode. We can press the build. It will, you'll see that we are building now, and when we place it, we are done placing. So, that is it for this video. In the next episode, we are going to be building the, um, the health system and all the other UI that we need for this game. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.